Yeah, good evening. Welcome to our live stream children's sermon on uh, this uh, Wednesday, December 9th. I uh, hope you're able to all get online and see this. As you see, I'm out and about. So, if you have a guess where I am, and it's not the racetrack, if you have a guess where I am, uh, uh, have a guess at it. Uh, I'm not sure it's coming in too clear because of I'm just on the phone line. I'm not sure I can see your comments either because I have a new phone. I got that Tuesday afternoon. Uh, so I'm dealing with it a little bit. So if you are there and you can hear me and, oh, Donna says good evening. So, yeah, so I guess uh, it's doing okay and I can hear. So and you can see Marlene's here and uh, the kids, uh, Darren and Leah and Maya and Mia and Joey are all watching. Okay, good to see you all. Uh, did the Bell kids get out and play today? It's a gorgeous day today. I wore my winter coat to church and I really didn't need it. It was a uh, pretty decent out. So uh, it's a little chilly tonight uh, as you see them outdoors uh, getting ready for Christmas. I was doing the bulletin today. Oh, kids, come on, gather, gather together. Let's get closer here. Uh, as I was doing the bulletin, I realized that this coming Sunday, there's only one more Sunday after that until Christmas. That's fantastic. It just came so quick, I think. And then, not too long after that, it'll be New Year's. Uh, the kids had their bikes out. Yeah, the last car that went by sounded like he was a motorized bike. There's a lot of noises here where I am. Uh, and there's uh, Jennifer and uh, I'm guessing uh, Chloe and uh, Gianna. Is uh, Ava. Oh, now I got a car coming. He's gonna, they're going to turn on their lights. Uh, good deal. You know, when, that's what happens when you get out in public. Here it is. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> yeah, let's turn on your brights in the city. Uh, uh, yes, uh, I am outside here in the public. Oh, we just we just went to our vehicle to turn the lights on to bother me, I guess, and bother you. Uh, life's too short to be bothered, though. Uh, yeah. Uh, like I asked, I don't know if Ava and uh, Leah are there, uh, the Williams, but uh, oh, only the kids can guess. Only the kids can guess, remember. But they might have a hard time. Yeah, we'll open it up to everybody. Kids will never know where I am. Crystal's here, along with probably Luke and Clara. Hi, kids. Uh, and yeah, Jen Jennifer Williams got it right. I am sitting, oh yeah, I was shining brightly, wasn't I? I couldn't see though. Uh, I'm sitting in what's called Veterans Park in Princeton, which uh, is where I uh, did the benediction and the uh, invocation for the Veterans Day celebration. And yeah, and over my shoulder is indeed Princeton City Hall and over my other shoulder in the dark with the uh, long lights is uh, the fire hall. So uh, that's where I am. And I noticed the lights around me. I love lights. Christmas lights are neat. I brought some Christmas lights with me. Do you guys put on Christmas lights on your tree or on your bushes? Who does that? Mom or dad or do the kids do that? Who puts the lights on things? In our house... For the most part, I used to, but somehow I've lost some patience. Hi, Aaron. Uh, Crystal does, or we all do. Uh, I've lost patience because almost always half the strings have one or two bulbs out. 
Oh, Grandpa, Grandpa Lee put them on. Yeah, good for you. But, uh, and so you got to figure out which bulb was out because if one bulb goes out, part of the string goes out, you know? And sometimes if it's an older string, and I'll leave these all like up, they all go out just because of one bulb going out. Oh, that makes me mad, and then you can't find it. And they made this little machine here. Guy's got one of these machines, a little plastic machine. You hold it up to the light, and you click it, and it tells whether the light's good or not. And you can click the cord. Hear that click? And it makes a beep sound, and uh, I don't know how to use that thing I tried. But Lisa's pretty good at it. So now I've left her to do the lights because there's nothing more frustrating than getting a string of lights up and having part of it out because there's a bulb out they, they work better when they're all strung together and when they're all connected and then of course the, the last thing is you got to make sure that it's plugged in <laughs> I'm going to tell a little naughty on Lisa when uh Years ago, she strung the tree from the top down and it ended up with the uh, this side of the plug at the bottom of the tree and she was trying to plug that into the wall. Well, duh, that's not going to work. And she couldn't figure out why it just couldn't turn around. Uh, you got to put the end with the forks uh, towards the wall. Don't tell her I told her that story. But yeah, you need you need the power end. You need uh, this end, right? This is the end that plugs it into the wall. So that's what needs to be at the bottom of the tree. So you can plug it in and get its power. Because without power, none of the lights are going to go on. And our lesson for today, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Yeah, the light of life. Jesus is the light. And we're the bulbs, you know. So if one of us is out, one of our bulbs is out, either part of us don't work or none of us don't work. Uh, Aaron, you need a short tree in order to, uh, to, to put those lights on. Uh, get a little three-foot tree. But, uh, yeah, the... Uh, where was I? Aaron, you made me laugh. Now I lost track. Did you ever have that happen, kids? Somebody says something funny, and then you forget what you were going to say. Uh, that's crazy. Yeah, when when... One of our lights goes out, that's one of our people. Whether it be through death or whether they just kind of never come to church, then our, our string of lights doesn't work as well. And we need, in order to stay lit, in order for us to be like this bulb lit, see this one over next to me here? That one's lit, right? Looks like it. Uh, what, that's, what that is, is that has to be connected all the wires and plugged in. So what I like to say is each of these bulbs is you. There's uh, Darren and Leah and Maya and Mia and Joey and there's, uh, there's uh, Clara and Luca and then we have Chloe and we have uh, we have Gianna and we have all the other kids too. We have the Kibbles, uh, Nolan, Colton, and Kenzie. Yeah, all the kids and Kylie, and uh, yeah, all the kids are light bulbs, but they need to stay plugged in, or else the whole thing doesn't work. And this right here, this right here, is Jesus. This wire and this plug-in in Jesus and we plug that in 
to the Holy Spirit. That's the plug in in the wall. That's where the power comes from, the Holy Spirit. And woo, we light up. So we're all happy because we're lit. That didn't sound good, but you kids don't get that, but your parents do. <laughs> we're happy because we're lit up. Uh, all of us are happy because this whole string is lit up. And best of all, the people around us that don't have the light, we can be the light for them. We can light up for them and show them the way of Jesus, way to Jesus, so that they too can light up. So that's our lesson on lights. I guess I got through it without too many troubles. I only had one uh, light from a truck and I only had one loud, loud vehicle and uh, the police didn't come and try to see what I was doing. So uh, let's gather around and pray. Uh, Jesus, light of the world, shine your brightness into our lives that we may be lights that light up a world that is in darkness. God, we thank you for Christmas, for your son coming to us. And we thank you for all the lights that we see, the lights that are around me, the lights behind me, the lights in our home. And especially, we thank you for the light in our hearts. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen. They also said, here comes a train. Can you hear it? Trains really have bright lights. So good. So here's your lesson for tonight. Get some sleep tonight <laughs> and go out tomorrow lit up. Lit up with the light of Christ. Amen. <laughs>